The bullets were so thick and so close, Frank could hear them whistle past him. He stormed upon the robbers, the hoofs of his horse like rolling thunder. His gun was silent until he was within three paces of the closest robber. Captain Bailey's Air is a quintessential American adventure. It's a wide-ranging uh, adventure story. It takes place in England, takes place in America. It's got this epic kind of feel to it. I think the great thing about uh, this story is is it is just a, a, a great, rollicking adventure. Yeehaw! Now! Steady, boys! Gold nuggets, I'm telling you, though! It's America's gold rush. Come to life. Gold was lying on the banks of, of streams nuggets and things like that. All you had to do was turn up and you could be rich beyond belief. It's a thrilling, extraordinary adventure and it's got these gorgeous characters in that are complicated and interesting. There aren't many times you stand in a recording studio and you hear another actor doing a bit and it just totally stops you and makes you cry. I'm asking Uncle if he believes me or the headmaster. And Frank's a really interesting character because he's an upright citizen in, in the fact that he's got a strong moral code which he follows through and through. Here I thought that Westminster was comprised of gentlemen, not disreputable prize fighters. But he likes to get into fist fights and he likes to be a bit naughty and bend the rules a little bit with his group of friends. You're not a scholar, sir! You're a scoundrel! Captain Bailey is a little bit rash and hasty perhaps at times, um, but a good he's a good soul, basically. In Captain Bailey, there's a sense of sadness in his eyes. There's something mysterious about his background that we find out. It seems we have stumbled upon a family secret. Mm. I think that history, if you make it colorful, it tells us who we are. Mm. And this does brilliantly well. There'll be characters that dif different people can relate to very easily. And there is the thread of God's plans coming through it. They're gonna learn about the power of God's grace. It's a, it's a magnificent gift because it's God's grace that fills in the gaps. As long as I know that you have faith in me, I can face whatever is before me. If you just think of the word history, it's his story, and whether people know it or not, God is a thread that runs through everybody's lives and has a plan for everybody's lives. We might have our own plans, our own little things of what we want to do, but there's a God story going on here. There's, there's his story that's preeminent, that pulls it all together. Open your eyes. Well, I think that the Henty uh, series is, is doing a great service, you know, to people, to young people, and the young in heart. Of all the Henty stories we've done, this is my favorite. All these wild encounters, and it's very exciting and dramatic. It's a really rocking good story. It's exhilarating. There are always more stories to be told and more adventures to be had.